feeling brave tonight? How brave? Brave enough to do battle with hideous monsters? Hmm? Brave enough to sneak around dank castles in the dark and chance being the next victim of a dragon strike? All right, your sunstone's done! So what do you want me to do with it? Let darkness reign, and in the darkness, let evil grow. Is this like a video game? Sort of. But it uses the most powerful information processor in the world. Your brain. Cool, so how do we play? Do we have to read a bunch of rules? Not this time. This time I'm the Dragon Master and you are the adventurers. Is it okay if I watch until I get the hang of it? You don't need the hang of anything. Imagination is all you need. Close your eyes. Open your mind. And I'll transport you to another realm. Oh, yeah? It's night. A long time ago. You see a castle. This castle belongs to the evil wizard, Teraptus. The castle's high towers and jagged walls glow in the light like the dull white of a skull. You sense magic in the air. Your nose is assaulted by the stench of death and decay. You're struck by the stillness. The stillness of death. Then you hear footsteps and see a young wizard running down a path which leads from Teraptus' castle. And you see what looks like a dagger sticking out of his back. Is he a good guy or a bad guy? You will know soon enough. Now I'm going to take you to a very different castle. This is the castle of King Halvor II. He takes himself quite seriously, and so do some of his subjects. It's a typical boisterous night in the King's Banquet Hall. Ale flows, games of chance are played, ridiculous tales are told, lusty songs are sung. Little do they know of the strange events that are descending upon them. Who dares disturb my banquet? It appears to be a wizard. No question about it. He's a wizard. Refrain from disturbing his personal effects, thief. At least until he's dead. I was only checking his identity. Stand aside! We will know all about him if he lives. If he dies, it won't matter who he was. It's not a knife. There's a tooth. A tooth freshly ripped from the jaws of a dragon. Summon all your life force! Face the death out from your bones. Let life flow. Forge yourself anew. He lives. Thank you, Clark. By healing me, you may have spared a thousand lives. For you. I sense the presence of evil very near. Tonight's omens bode ill. The wizard escaped our captivity once. Return unto us. I will spare you. I will not tolerate this insult! Return him! Or I will turn this banquet hall into a charmer house. Fight silently! I shall return. Very well. Kill them all! Ah! 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 
usual, you overestimate your accomplishments! <laughs> You, Lord Fear. For that we should all be commended. <laughs> you do not host this banquet. Death hosts this banquet. Now pay close attention, because the information you're about to hear could mean the difference between life and death. Have you not noticed the darkness upon this land? The unholy darkness? It spreads even as we speak. It is created by a sunstone and comes from the castle of Taraptus. I have enough problems without listening to this ridiculous prattle. Gods, eject this elf. Dear, I think all the guards are dead. Oh dear. Eject him, and I fear you squander your only chance to save your he kingdom. He speaks the truth. Taraptus' power grows stronger with every beat of our hearts. Taraptus is a wizard of guile and charisma. He and promised a golden age, and many fools followed. He is truly and deeply evil. Have you any proof? As for the sunstone, witness the darkness which envelops the land. As for my quest, observe the tooth. Extracted from my back. And as for Taraptus' ability to raise the dead, cast your eyes upon the Death Knights. The Sunstone must be destroyed. Quest with me to this den of evil where we will bind Taraptus and drive a stake into his heart. Can I play the warrior? You're on. Well, now what do I do? As a warrior, your job is to be on the front line. You aren't afraid of anything. Well, do I use any magic? No. You think magic is for wimps. Warriors have a motto. Sharp swords, settle scores. Well, how about if I play the thief? Your thief is more or less of the Robin Hood variety. She steals from the evil and gives to the good. When thieves aren't fighting, they specialize in picking locks, climbing walls, lurking in dark shadows, and disarming traps. I want to play the elf. Elves are a mysterious and ancient race. As an elf, your skill with a bow is legendary. And more importantly, you possess the secret knowledge of elven lore. Okay, I want to play the wizard. You're on. As their name implies, wizards use magic and avoid physical confrontation at all costs. Wizards prefer to stay in the background and cast spells. But here is something very important never to forget. Once a wizard casts a spell, that spell is spent. Now I got it wired. Good. Because I almost neglected to tell you. You lost your wand as you fled Teraptus' castle. What a rip. How do I get a new one? Try asking the king. Your Majesty. Huh? Might I borrow a wand from your treasury? Mine oh. was lost at Teraptus' castle. Uh. Jester! <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a wand for this bereft wizard? Of course, Your Majesty. I live to serve you. I have just the wand. You notice this is the same wand that you lost. Is there a problem? Close your eyes and imagine you are your character. Imagine you're a warrior with arms of steel. Imagine you're a thief who slips stealthily like a shadow in the night. Imagine you're a wizard, with magic coursing through your veins. Imagine you're an elf, who silently stalks through the forest with a deadly bow. Imagine the treasure, the power, and imagine the evil you will smite on your great adventure.
Fellow adventurers, we have been honored with the King's Quest. Big honor. It comes as no surprise to me that honor is not an issue for you. To thieves, there is no difference between good and evil. As for me, I dedicate my quest to King Halvor II, Master of the Realm, Lord of the Lands. Greedy pontificating buffoon. I will not have you speaking ill of my king. Why is he doing that? Stop your petty human bickering. Our cause will serve the good of nature. The only way that goodness will be served will be by separating Taraptus from his infernal magic. Are we going to stand here talking all night? Or are we going to nail Taraptus? They are not mutually exclusive options. If we don't nail Taraptus, the night will never end. Wizard, I should tell you I don't like your headgear. Are you not familiar with the wizard's magical transformation? No, I am not. No animal was lost. I was transformed to a coyote to learn the ways of nature. Have you forgotten our quest? Onward. Onward. With whom are you communicating now, Ellen? He speaks of present danger. Stand aside! Oh. Yes. I thought you were a friend of the trees. I speak to their spirits. This one was corrupted by sorcery. What would make a sorcerer so evil? Taraptus shall suffer for his perversion of nature. Look! magic within those walls, if unleashed, could destroy the entire kingdom. If it were used for good, it would create a golden age. A golden age of running ropes and fireflies and summer nights. You know, I'm hypnotizing the sand. I don't want it. Oh, I don't want it. I mean, I do want it. But they tricked me. I just told you. I. I mean, me. Don't you pay any attention. Hey, elf. What is this thing? You, you miserable. An owlbear. They're not nearly as extinct as they should be. You and me. I've had try flattering him. I talk flattering. I can have better company up here. And you know. Hey! Handsome! Oh, hey, come back! I do! Congratulations! You have infiltrated your first castle! So, now where do we go? Go anywhere you want.
I didn't want to be with the rest of these guys, could I go off on my own? Of course. At your own risk. I'm only familiar with some of them. I thought you infiltrated this place. Paraptus uses his magic to constantly shift the walls. Then how will you know where we'll find him? I don't. In fact, I'm not sure I'll know him if I see him. I've only seen him once, and that was in a shadow. Great. We have a guide who doesn't know where he's going, leading us to a man he won't know on sight. You guys are on your own. Well, that's fine. Split up. We'll be able to cover more territory. Okay, thief. You're walking along. You hear something around a wall. What do you want to do? I'll cut him to shreds. Elf, you hear something. What do you want to do? I'll set upon it with a vengeance. Elf! Thief. Nothing back there. Nothing here. Let's... straight. You come to the end of a corridor. That's odd. It doesn't seem like there should be a wall here. I'll try to find a secret entrance. Roll the die. You see something that confounds you. The wizard has he stepped vanished. through the wall as if it were made of smoke. Wizard, where are you? Come on. You hear a laughing sound not too far away. Does my elven lord tell me anything? It sounds like a couple of stupid orcs. Wizard and warrior, you see a shadow on the wall. It looks like a minotaur. Let's go toast him. Hmm, let's save our strength for something we really need to fight. Only something truly worthwhile would warrant a door such as this. Where's a thief when you need one? You need a lot more than a thief. Well, pick the lock, thief. That is what you're good for, isn't it? Stand aside. What are you doing? Checking for traps. Why didn't you do that before I tried opening it? Because I figured if there were any traps, you would trigger them. Oh, very funny. Guess we should have picked a better thief. <laughs> Why don't you smash it with your head? That seems to be all that it's good for, isn't it? Major mistake. You're 
are on the brink of a fight to the death with a man scorpion. Let's go through this battle one step at a time and then watch it all play out. Well, I'm gonna try and roll out of the way. Dexterity die? Well, how do I find that out? Look at your card under dexterity. Well, it shows a blue die. Is that good? Well, you, because you're so big and uncoordinated, have to roll a six or higher to dodge the man scorpion. Oh, very funny. The elf will shoot an arrow. You might hit your friend. That's okay. I don't know him very well. Oh, thanks a lot. Just kidding. Well, he might as well shoot. I'm dead if he doesn't. I'll crack him with my whip. And I'll cast a magic missile. So let's put it all together and see what happens. Effective wand. I'll throw a spell. Which one? Hold person. Razu. The spell takes effect. It's as if he's working in slow motion. I'll grab a stinger and try and stab him with it. Roll the die. <laughs> he's dead. Killed by his own poison. If Taraptus put a man scorpion in here, he must be guarding something. Forget him and get me out, you idiot! Who's calling us idiot? If you know what's good for you, you'll use your thick skulls for something and find me, you fools! Boy, sounds dwarfing. Brilliant deduction, you fakester! Now get me out! Why should we help one who insults us? Who is this fount of stupidity? I am Greenthorn the Elf. Ooh! I'm shaking in my boots, you mumbling tree nuzzler! I am the one who fashioned the sunstone from a solid block of ice, and I'm the only one who can destroy it! Believe me, I don't look forward to your company any more than you look forward to mine. Can we trust this guy? You'd be a fool to trust me. But just because you can't trust me doesn't mean you don't need me. I'm not fond of dwarves. But if we need him, we have no choice. Dwarf, if you made the Sunstone, why has Teraptus imprisoned you? Are you gonna let me out or not? Not until you answer the question. If I did answer it, you wouldn't believe my answer, would you? Well, he has a point. <laughs> the answer is obvious. If the Dwarf created the Sunstone, he can also destroy it. So to protect it from destruction, the Sorcerer has jailed the Dwarf. Now where is your door? There is no door, you half-wit! You only make a door if you plan on releasing somebody. He never planned on letting me go. I'm walled in here! It'll take us all night to knock down a wall. Not with my hammer? What if your hammer is so great? Why don't you use it to knock the wall down? Because I don't have my hammer, you dunderhead! It's on the man Scorpion's belt. This... <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't look like much of a hammer to me. Then don't look at it. Use it, you dupe! Oh, much to your amazement, the wall shatters, revealing a dwarf. But unfortunately, the spell has caused the whole room to crumble into nothingness, and you all tumble into a black void. Jester? I should have known when you returned my wand to me. Failure is made of should-haves. The king will be very interested to know who you really are. 
Unfortunately for you, you will be unable to warn the king of my true identity. <laughs> Rise up, flames. Rise up, fire elemental. Use your rage to engulf my enemies. All the men are mesmerized by the fire elemental. Boys, snap out of it! Dwarf, throw your hammer at the sunstone! Throw your own hammer, Thomas Demon! Fire and the sunstone is made of ice. Let's put the two together. I'll take two of the supports out with arrows, and I'll take one out with a magic missile. I've got a dagger for the other one. <laughs> now you're working together. I thought they were supposed to be tough. The spell is broken. Look, thief, there are jewels where the elemental was. We gotta kill these things more often. Oh, just a few more? Beware! He's using his power to change. I I'd like to know you can use something to hide your big Take mouth. that flame breath! You gotta get out of here before he takes another breath. Through the magic portal. I dislike such magic. Anywhere is better than here? Suit yourself. Oh! You again? We just came from Taraptus' castle. Taraptus is your jester. Surely you jest. <laughs> How do we stop him? Still come. Face me, Taraptus. What power do you hold over Taraptus? The power to heal him. To kill the undead is to heal them. I owe you my life. This is an honor to serve you, King Halva II. Master of the realm, lord of the lands to you. I owe my fealty. I appreciate the fealty. Now, bring me the jewels. Surrender the jewels to Halva II, king of the kings and lord of okay, all the lands. Okay, okay, I'll surrender the jewels. Just spare me the titles. Well, uh, uh, uh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Ow. Have you all failed to notice the real treasure? The green we have brought to this land. The difference between us is that you love green and I love gold. Unfortunately, so does the king. Well, shall we venture to Strathmore Castle? Yeah, when I'm broke again. Oh, too bad. For I have no use for the jewels within. Did you say jewels? The video you've just seen represents elements from many of the adventures in your Dragon Strike game box. Do not turn the VCR off yet. This is a special section of the tape for Dragon Masters only. When everyone who is not presently interested in becoming a Dragon Master has left the room, we may begin. Until then, kindly cast a pause video spell on your VCR. Are you sure nobody's listening at the door? At the window? Very well. Then we can proceed. 
As you've just seen, the Dragon Strike game is unlike any game you've ever played before. In what other game can you visit the nastiest castles in the world and bring your friends along for the ride? The key is that all the players must work together as a team in order to win. And you, as the Dragon Master, must make the world unfold before their very eyes. Your role is all important. You set the stage for the players, presenting the quest they must follow. Only you know where the treasure is buried. Only you know where the clues are hidden. And only you know where the dangers lie. Now don't forget, a great Dragon Master isn't afraid to ham it up. Sure, the monsters just want to beat the heroes up, but it's a lot more fun when they do it with style. Rise up, Fire Elemental. Use your rage to engulf my enemies. The game rules and adventure cards will give you tips about what the monster might say. The rest of the time, just make it up. Follow the game's guidelines about how smart the monster is and what motivates him, and have fun with it. I'm walled in here! The instructions will tell you that the dwarf is telling the truth. And when the chips are down, he'll help the party. A dragon master can win the game if the players make bad moves, move too slowly, or don't act together as a team. To make the game more challenging for the heroes, you get to set some of the traps at the start of each adventure. But that doesn't mean you can cheat or ignore the rules. For example, if a monster is about to die, resist the temptation to save it. In fact, there's really only one rule to being a great Dragon Master. The real object of the game is for everybody to have fun. And if the game isn't fair, nobody will. Now you have all the secret knowledge you need. I'll give you one way to start. Feeling brave tonight? How brave? Brave enough to do battle with hideous monsters? Hmm? Brave enough to sneak around dank castles in the dark and chance being the next victim of a dragon strike. <laughs>